YouTube, what's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman, I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So we got Tania here. Um, how would I describe Tania? Tania is Snoopy, badass, baby mama. She's a woman of the night, a lady of the night, a working woman, if you would. Now, she has a daughter. That daughter is or isn't Snoopy's. Who knows, right? Her daughter is also a woman of the night. Now, her daughter's underage, but she is a woman of the night as well. Now, this is Tania back on Soft White Belly. Talking about her experience at a Diddy party. Now, does it surprise me that she was at a Diddy party? No, it doesn't. Prayers to her and her daughter, too, because, you know, I don't think any of that's cool. But this is her experience at a Diddy party. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into this. Um, I find this chick super um, not interesting. I'll be honest with you. I don't think she's so interesting. And then the things that you hear of her is just like, there's nothing cool about this. You know what I mean? You got a whole daughter who's in the streets like you. The goal as parents is for us to make our children better than us. I remember my mom telling me that. I remember my dad telling me that. That's what it's supposed to be. Like, you're supposed to be better than me. Her child isn't. You know, she wears these um, Fias Las Barreras outfits and whatnot on camera with Mark. He might or might not be a creep. I don't know, dude. I'm hearing all kind of stuff about him. I don't know. But this is her experience at a Diddy party. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join up in the Discord. Good people, positive vibes all the time. I can't tell you that enough. Smash that TikTok link to follow me over there for any content that I post as well. But we about to get into this um, interview, man. Just talking about the Diddy parties. I mean, I don't know why a Diddy party is... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know why a Diddy party... It surprised to anybody she was at a Diddy party. Oh, I don't know why that's surprising. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at her. Listen to her story. Her baby daddy. Her baby daddy is Melvin. That Snoopy badass. You know what I'm saying? It's just like her whole everything is telling. So that doesn't really like the Diddy party. This doesn't surprise me. But we're going to see what she got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? So let's start there. December of 22. Oh, yeah, about to be 22. December of 22, you were here. Mm -hmm. You did our first interview. You were just some girl that I met through a friend. Right. And you were doing this interview, and you mentioned something about... <laughs> I accidentally mentioned it, too. Like, it slipped out. About P. Diddy. About P. Diddy. You went to one of his parties. Yeah. Crazy party. And... uh He's in the news now because of all the scandal. And they didn't believe me. But when it started, like, when it started coming out, people were, like, mentioning me, like, you were telling the truth about it. And I'm like, duh, I'm not going to lie about something like that. And I, I kind of, like, tried to briefly talk about it because I knew it wasn't going to seem true because it was just too much. It was too, too crazy. Many. It was too crazy. People were going to think that I was just lying. It had like a lot of people involved, celebrities and stuff. So I was trying to be real vague about it. But that party traumatized me. How did you get invited to it? I have to stop right there. The Diddy party traumatized you? Like, come on, gang. The Diddy party traumatized you? 
again, no offense to her, prayers to her because she obviously going through something. She was also with um C Mac, free C Mac, till that's backwards. She was with C Mac for a little time while she was reading the Bible to him and all kind of stuff. Meanwhile, you're a whole working woman with an underage daughter following in your footsteps. But the Diddy party traumatized you. I'd venture to say that you were probably traumatized before the Diddy party. It's just my opinion. By being with a prince um, that I met in L.A. He lived in Glendale, California. And, um, prince in Glendale. you know, long story short, I got out of this crazy little contract and I was looking for somebody to invest in me. And I knew somebody who knew somebody that was like, I want to introduce you to a prince. He know a lot of celebrities, that are producers and stuff. So I never put two and two together that this prince knew P. Diddy as a producer. you say a prince, prince of what? Um, he was from, he was a prince. Arabian prince. Really? Yeah. Shorty said, somebody told me they was going to introduce me to Aladdin. <laughs> and we was going to fly off of his magic carpet. <laughs> What, dude? That nigga said, shout out Mark. <clears throat> Again, I don't know much about Mark. I'm hearing all different kind of things about Mark, right? Maybe we'll get into those in another video because I don't know too much about him. I'm hearing all kind of stuff. But shout out to Mark for the question. A prince where? In Glendale. Just like, you know, inquiring minds want to know. And he really... She all was Aladdin. a prince for real. But I wasn't worried about him being a prince. I was worried about who he actually knew. So when he invited me to, um, he met me. He said, I want to invite you tomorrow to um, Music Ultra Week, whatever. And it's like an event, uh, Ultra Music Week. It's like an event for like two weeks where people party, 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 including P. Diddy. And they. She do music. I don't mean to keep stopping. She do music. I ain't heard not nair song. I give you a whole laundry list of things I don't heard, but not no damn song. What? What Aladdin? Party at Club Live. Um, they party at like just in South Beach, Star Island, like where P Diddy stays or throw his freak offs at. And I never knew that we were gonna go there because I was there for two weeks. And I knew it was something fishy. He kept saying, I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. I'm like, but I'm only supposed to stay for two weeks. And I'm here longer than three, I mean, than two weeks. And it was almost a month. It was basically a month by then. And he was like, no, because I just want you to meet one special person. So he ended up telling me, like, when we went to Club Live, he was like, guess where we're going tonight? I'm like, where? He's like, to P. Diddy's house. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, that's crazy because... I hear a lot about P. Diddy, and I'm like, his house for what? Like, to go sing? He's like, no, he's throwing this wild party. Da -da -da. I'm like, oh, okay. So we went from Club Live. It ended at, like, the clubs end at, like, three or four, and not two, like how out here is. So we waited around the mansion, the Prince's Mansion, for about an hour. And then soon as 6.30 hit, we went. We all got in the car, like a big Uber, and... um me and all the other girls. Now, mind you, I'm the only black girl. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm about to meet Pete Diddy. Oh, you know, like, I'm probably going to have to sing for him. Da, da, da. And I just tried to, like, keep my composure. So we get there. And this is crazy. That's, that's when stuff got weird. <laughs> and that's why they lock up our phones, because they know what we see in there. You know, it's he, he can get in trouble, like, right now. So... Basically, so we arrived, security guard patted us down. They put our phone in this little bubble case. So the bubble case is closed. They can't get unlocked until we walk out. So as we're in there, the only way of us taking any type of pictures is if we get in the photo booth. He has like a team love photo booth or whatever. Take like four pictures. So I, you know, got pictures. I still got everything in my snap too, like of the photos, everything. That's all you could get. Sheesh, this is crazy because she really went to a Diddy party. Not that I uh didn't think that she went, but it's like, damn, bro got his shit. Or or so we thought he had his shit patent. Your shit in the bubble case and all that, but you but you filming all throughout the mansion though, gang. 
Why you got the cameras, gang? That's why you're in the trouble right now. You like everybody phone up, but you filming all through this mug. Sheesh. So I'm walking around or whatever. So one of his sons, I'm not going to tell you which one, but it was like why? recruit. Why are you not going to tell us which one? That's annoying. Like, bro, you get it. You don't hear telling. You don't hear telling. Say which one. Damn. And I'm pretty sure it's Christian. I mean, not Christian. What's the other one? Um, Dior. The light skin one, not a uh, Quincy. I'm pretty sure it's the other one because I seen some photos with him. Sheesh, with Drea. Sheesh, Drea got a whole husband and baby and everything, and these pictures being exposed with Dior all in between it. Sheesh, at the freak offs. Pay attention. And like whoever they wanted to go inside the house, cause the back the. The freak off is inside the house and in the backyard. So you have the pool and they're playing loud house music. Like Mark, the house music, it makes you feel kind of woozy, first of all, because it's like a rave or something. Or was it the shots? Was it the house music making you feel woozy? Or was it the shots? Dun, 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 dun. And it's real loud, so you can't really see nothing, but you're seeing everybody like walking around, drunk, hopping around. It's still 7 a.m. So the sun is like coming up, and people are walking around naked, period. Let's get into it. They're walking around naked already, and they're in the pool, skinny dipping, and they're drinking mimosas in the pool, but then it's like a waitress walking around giving people drinks, just passing people drinks, you know, and people are just taking them. Me, I don't drink like that, but I'll, I'm like an occasional drinker. Like, I'll drink if we're partying or whatever, just for that occasion. So, because people are going to keep saying, drink, drink, drink. But I didn't take a sip a drink of a drink yet. But I just had it in my hand. So, one of the sons seen me walking. Mind you, I'm with other girls, but we split up. So, I was walking with one girl. She's a Puerto Rican girl. So, P. Diddy's son was like, you. And I'm like, me or her? And then he was like, no, you. Come here. So I went to him, and he gave me some shoes. So these shoes was like some um, terry cloth, like robe shoes, white shoes. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these? He was like, go in the house with these. He was like, everybody who gets these shoes, you get to go in the house. But I'm thinking you could just go in the house if you want to, but everybody can't go in the house. They're literally selectively picking who they want. So I'm like, well, what about my friend? He was like, no, only you. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm holding the shoes. I'm walking around. You know, I'm a good, loyal friend. I'm not going to go inside a house where they say my friend can't go. So we just walking around mingling. Diddy, this is crazy. You just let anybody in the damn parties. Not trying to be like that, but it's like, bro, this why your ass in all this, this is why your ass in all this trouble right now. You just let anybody in the damn parties at Star Island. How is she a star? The hell? Why are you in a position you in right now, brother? But we tripping out, looking at everybody like they off everything smoking and jumping around like hooligans. And so I seen P. Diddy or whatever, and I seen him with the prince. I'm not going to say what he was doing, but something really, I get real nervous. <laughs> something real crazy because I don't like to really expose people. I could talk about me, but when it's about like me, my family, because it's us. But Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Just tell. God damn, you sitting up with the nigga for the whole interview. It's about the Diddy part. Just tell. The man's being locked up. It's footage of this, that, and the other. And that. And I'll be honest with you. These are the kind of things that lead me to believe that, you know, niggas be lying. Now, we know she went to the party, but we don't know what she really saw or nothing like that. This could have been a regular ass party. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Now, we know what's going on with Diddy and all that, but how do we know that she was there? Why don't you just tell? The hell was he doing with the prince? What was Diddy doing with Aladdin? I want to know. I'm not going to say because, you know, I don't want to say. You don't want to say what? Sitting up there, Yiddy's out. You keep trying to fix up. This shit is too small. It's too small for your body. You keep trying to. You chose the outfit. Who chose that outfit but don't want to tell that a bitch there's other people bro doing something real sexual that's all i'm gonna say um 
a lot and gay. So oh. that we can see and so that we can get turned on, okay? So he's doing something with himself. And I'm like, <laughs> girl, do you see him? She's like, yes. But mind you, we're screaming like, girl, do you see him? Oh, my God. Because of the music. And I'm just like, whatever. Then he starts to act like really obnoxious, like, I'm the king of the world, jumping around, doing all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, that's regular P. Diddy shit. But what got me was how he walked up to me and was like, why are you not in the house? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, how are you enjoying my house? So we had a little talk or whatever. He started talking about all these things. Oh, yeah, you're the one that, you know, I seen was telling me about the prince. He's like, um, oh, yeah, um, it's very nice to meet you. Like, your life is not going to be the same. Da, 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 da. They, we started talking about going to Cuba. Come on, y'all. Are you going to Cuba with us? I'm like, what? And that's the thing. I didn't really know about this. So this is when I start asking around or whatever. And I said that in the last interview. But to get to the point, I ended up going in the house because he was on me, like, going to that house. I'm like, okay. And then the person that he was dating at that time, we're not going to say her name, but we all know, she came and was, like, looking at him like, what are you doing? Because he was talking to me for too long. So she came to, like, rub on his shoulders or whatever, and he just pushed her. And I'm looking, like, real uncomfortable, like, oh, I know what this is about. I don't want to be in the middle of there or whatever. So that's what made me go into the house because I'm like, okay, let me just go in the house. So I tell my friend, like, wait right here, girl. Let me just put on these shoes, see what this house is about. Walk up in there. Mm. Mm. I don't judge people because at the time I was just smoking weed. But you know when people are out of their mind and you know when people – you know what you don't want to be a part of. And it's just like, I'm seeing stuff that you see on the movies. I'm, this corner, this got going on. This corner, they over here doing this. This corner, they over there having sex. This corner, I'm just going to say, because I don't know what I can say, because I'm not trying to be incriminating myself, but they were dressed up like little Harold Juku Barbies. Like what? Little people, okay? We're not going to say what type of little people, but like a fetish. And I'm looking like, what are they doing here? Like, dressed up, little um, red lipstick. Like, they weren't supposed to be there. What? But I'm just looking like, maybe it's some type of production going Yo, is she saying that Diddy had little midgets running? <sighs> Bruh, is she saying that Diddy had little midgets running around the house, man? Is this, is this what she's saying? Little midget Harajuku Barbies, bro. What the what in the hell? It's up with Diddy again. I don't know if this story is true, but I feel like it could be. This shit sounds crazy. She said it was little people dressed like Harajuku Barbies, bro. I'm so confused. And why don't she get some clothes that fit? Golly. But why would they be at this party at 7 o'clock in the morning with grown people? Like, why Why would they be here? So I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> But then when I'm looking in this corner, this corner, this person laid out, and I'm looking like, what's going on? Then I'm seeing, like, Instagram models or whatever. I'm like, oh, hey. So I'm kind of getting distracted, feeling, like, kind of comfortable. Like, she's here. Oh, my God, she's here. And then I see P. Diddy, you know, walking through the house, like, with his eyes on me. Like, you know, like. It's a sick ass camera. Is this, shot. Like, I don't you know, know you see, it. like, are, are you agreeing with this? Is this, is, and I don't. Now, mind you, I still got my friend out there. So I walked out of the house and I'm telling her, like, oh my God, bitch. Like, this nigga is, this is, oh my God, you should, she like for real. But I'm just like, I'm not even tripping. Like, oh, well, like, this nigga's weird. Like, you know, so I'm really looking at the situation like, I don't even want to be involved in this type of stuff because once I see something, I can't get it out of my mind. And I'm like a hypochondriac. Like, I keep on having flashbacks about it. So, whatever. So, of course, I come out, and then here he goes again. And another rapper, well-known rapper, <laughs> comes and starts feeling on me like, hey, you. So now it just seems like everybody is faded at this point. They're either drunk or on all the drugs, obviously, with this house music. So now I just feel, like, trapped in. Like, I don't like it. And I know the devil when I see it. Because by me being so spiritual and tapped in, I know when something is not right, I'm not judging, but I just don't want to be a part of it because how am I? Spiritual and tapped in are not two words that I would use to describe Tania.
I digress. Gonna get out of this shit. Like, I'm already here. And then I heard conversations or whatever. And then P. Diddy was like, that's the one that I want. That's, I want her. So now I feel like, you know, they plotting on me. Like, did you bring me here on purpose? Like, is this the, you know, producer you was talking about? And I came here specifically with the Prince to rub elbows with people, to. Oh, you gonna rub some elbows and a few other things, shorty. It's been a whole lot of rubbing. You heard about the Astro Glide, the baby oil. It's going to be a whole lot of rubbing. <laughs> Don't even worry about that. Network for um, the music week. But then I put two and two together like, oh, the Prince you? have been saying your life is never going to be the same. You're going to be happy. Somebody's expecting you. And I just feel like that was the time that I was going to get sex traffic or you know, drugged or, or or something like that. Don't you sex traffic yourself? Not trying to be like funny or nothing, but don't you sex traffic yourself? Okay, my bad. It's my bad. And then they kept trying to make my me, bad. like, I've been around celebrities before. If a rapper wants you or somebody wants you, they're not going to do it. They're going to send somebody else to do it. So if a waitress is coming or another girl or a pretty girl or a guy, they'll sick somebody on you. Like, take this drink, do this, do that. And then you just feel eyes on you, like, watching to see if you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. So I already know what time it was. And it's crazy because I had to leave that place. In my last interview, I told you I had to escape. I had to leave from the prince because he was telling me we was leaving for Cuba the next day. Cuba with who? With V. Diddy or what? Like, th this is all crazy. So to see all of this stuff come out. And I escaped by leaving. I had to call the police and everything. I had to leave with the prince. That's another story. From the prince, from that house, I didn't leave with the other girls. I had to get my phone unlocked, of course. But, like, I had to, like, catch a, Uber, a taxi, not even an Uber, a taxi, to another location. And then I ended up going to the airport, and I ended up leaving because I just felt bamboozled. First, I'm getting lied to about how long I'm supposed to stay there. Then you keep talking about I'm supposed to meet this producer, but we're not talking about nothing with music, but you're talking about going to Find Cuba. Find a lot. We didn't even do what we were supposed to do in Miami, or did we do what we were supposed to do in Miami at this freak-off? But because I'm not cooperating with what I see, and I feel like like that's what the Illuminati and stuff is about, like a secret society. Like They want to see what you allow, what you cool with, and then next thing you know, boom, take that drink, you're drugged. Take that, you're out of it. Take that pill, because everybody was off something. But you had to be being in that environment many, like that. How many people were at this event? Uh, like hundreds. Even when it was a certain amount outside, but in the house was really crowded. You know what I'm saying? And you would think that, like, it was, yeah, it was more people in the house. And you walked around? Yeah, I walked around for about five minutes. I seen what I needed to see. And I was like, no, ma'am. No, sir. Because it was like selling your soul at that house. And if you like that, it's nothing to you. But if you're not like that, you're going to feel uncomfortable. And then it's like. If you walk the streets and sell your most prized possession for profit, wouldn't you consider that selling your soul? One would ask, wouldn't you consider that selling your soul? Your daughter takes up the same career and it's just, that's just what it is. You don't consider that selling your soul? Not to say that, oh, she should have got down with the Diddy party or anything, but just the way that she describes it is just like, you know, like she worked for the government or something. And that is not the case. Just a little confused, but you know, let's continue. At first, I used to think P. Diddy was like, so he like, rep he always talk about team love and all of this stuff. Like he's all about love. All right. No, he all about sex himself. And I know sex because I've dealt, you know, I've dealt with men, Mark. So, Oh, have you? I know when somebody is trying to lead you on to stuff and sitting back acting like he just this macho man. And he is a charmer, though. That's one thing. Like, he will charm the fuck out of you. But for me, that's so game tight. I'm like, I know what this is. And I'm ready to get to the music. Like, 
if that's the case, you should have been like, don't tell me you about to change my life and da 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 Oh, have you been writing? Oh, that's nothing too. He was like, have you been writing the songs that um, I've seen been telling you to write? Because the prince wanted me to write out all the songs I ever made in my life. I said, without the beat? He's like, yeah, just start writing songs. So you never know. They'll take my music, drug me, fuck me, do whatever, and just throw me. I don't think they wanted your music. I'll just be honest. I don't think they wanted your music. No way. Basically, Drugs or after you have something songs. on me, when we do do the music, you have that on me that this happened, and now I'm blackmailed or some shit like that. So, <sighs> touching all on me at that party. Blackmail for what? Even the rapper who touched all on me, like, that rapper was cool. Like, I was liking that rapper. But when they were like, hey, you and doing all that, what can I do? All I could do is just say, like, move his hand, like, oh, I'm fine, but, you know, trying to, like, still be cool. But I'm like, why do everybody feel comfortable to just touch on you? Even P. Diddy, like, why do you, why I look up and you're right there? And then, like, in my face, like, are you, like, in my house? Like, look, like it's weird. Like, looking at him is, like, when you're a kid and you're getting in trouble by your parent and you can't look them in their face. And it's, like, a demon. I'm telling you, like, this dark spirit, like, he possessing Sheesh. you as he's looking at you. That power, that control. So I'm like, I read the art of seduction, motherfucker. I know what you're doing. And you're trying to really seduce me right now. And, oh, take a drink. Oh, no. Do this. Do that. Go in there. Like, it's just not nothing. And I want to know why me know go read. in the house and why not the girl. So now you're picking and choosing. I ain't know she read. So it's fishy to me. So when all this stuff started coming out, I was like, I knew I was right. I knew it. Like, it ain't no doubt about that P. Diddy was doing all that. And like I said, I don't judge because I've been around people doing cocaine. And, but these hard drugs that they was doing and just. And you're a whole woman of the night. So it's not really much you can judge respectfully. Respectfully. I ain't gonna lie, it was orgies and stuff going on. So all of this stuff going on, I'm like, why is people doing stuff all in the open? Like, that's just offending me and assaulting me, period, because where am I at? I didn't sign up for this. And how can I really get out? So I had to, like, ease my way on out. You know, it's security, but they not caring about what happens as long as that phone is closed. Mm. They, damn, they, they damn near don't care if somebody... Died up in there. Ain't nobody can film it. And there were there were famous it. people or not? It was a whole bunch of famous people. Yeah, like four famous people and then some um, Instagram models. Mm -hmm. And the whole time he just was like trying to undress me with his eyes. And I was thinking like I'm. This is really no cap because at that time, you know, I always been skinny. That means caps coming. So at that time, the son who came up to me, I was like, boy. Do it, is it because I resemble your mom? Like, you know, like Kim Porter, like stuff like that. Like, you just never know. Like, I feel like, you know, P. Diddy does Whoa. have a type. I feel like everybody that was in that house, it was a certain type of person. It was a certain type of something that he wanted and what he liked. And you could just tell, like, he get whatever he wants. That's why he has no problem touching on you, being all in your face, popping up on you, being obnoxious, and just hounding you until you do what he say. And that's just how the industry is already, especially him, because he got a lot of money, you know? Because you're, you're a singer as well, right? Yeah, so they probably like, do you want this opportunity or what? You're a singer as and well, And I'm like, right. not that damn bad, but I do want it. I do. But if I already got a bad vibe and I'm seeing stuff that you're into, I already know how this is going to be. So I don't want to, like, you know, ignore some red flags and then I'll be in trouble because of you. Mm. Like, literally in trouble. Like, we know his past, like... Shine, the rapper, you know, being in jail because of him. Like, don't think just because I'm from where I'm from, you could just do anything. And that's the, that's why I never really said nothing about it because I just felt like, who am I? You know, he got money. Like, mm. ain't nobody going to believe me. But I have all the receipts. I have it all in my snap to this day. It never went nowhere. That was just my experience just being in Miami for the first time. I didn't know that I was going to end up at P. Diddy's house. Did you take photos outside the house? When I got my phone back, yeah. Videos or something? Mm -hmm. I took videos um, when I was going to the house before I knew this was some weird shit. And then when I got my phone, I ended up yeah, recording. And then I had the shoes on. <laughs> oh, you had the shoes? Mm. 
I left with the shoes on because I don't know where I put my shoes at when I put those on. And I was, and it was a lot going on. Um, it was real loud, so I don't know. It I, it just tripped me out. And I was like, is he gay? You know, like, and, and nothing against gays. I just I couldn't put my finger. I was like, what is this dude into? But his house, his freak off. No, not like that. You know I'm going to make everything into a joke, but this is a real serious situation because it will traumatize you because now I ain't trusting no producer. I look at everybody like if I went to the top of the top and I've been looking at him like this top-notch mogul and like whatever. But... Child, it's a lot, but it's some stuff you know that I did leave out because I don't, I don't want to say too much. But um, spill the tea, because I told you it was some celebrities in there. <clears throat> but who and where's a lot for these girls that did get drugged and did take these drinks? I feel like it's because everybody was all having fun. You know, you wouldn't think that somebody would do something like that to you until you get to seeing everything. And once you're intoxicated, it's too late. It's just too late. So that's why you gotta watch um, what drinks you take. And they was just pushing them on us too much. Take a drink, take a drink, take a drink. And I'm like, no. Cause I was already, you know, sipping a little bit at Club Live. So I wanted to like, mind you, I'm thinking like, he gonna ask me to sing in a minute. I don't wanna be toe up, you know? Mm -hmm. Until I put two and two together, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm glad. Ain't okay. no singing going well, on here, Shorty. Cut out and survived? Yep. I'm always surviving. This is no joke. You're like, a survivor. For real. And it's like, I'm still going through stuff. You know, you, you don't survive being traumatized. And these things do, do traumatize you because it's like, dang, I can't never get around this. Like, it always end up to this, sex or some creep shit or somebody taking advantage of you or something or feeling all on you and you can't do nothing because you thought the streets were dangerous yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying i'm telling you but um yeah so i i just want to see like you know what's gonna happen because i know a lot of people was he went to trial today mm. and so i didn't even know it's gonna be in the news for a while i think i'm gonna just uh in <clears throat> in this right here that's uh that's the gist of it. Um, this is a crazy story. Um, I will say, uh, despite like her credibility and everything like that, I do believe her. I definitely believe <clears throat> the story that she tells. And then, I mean, she got the receipts backing it up, talking about she was at the party. She got the pictures in the love booth. <laughs> Pause. That sounds crazy. Um, but she definitely got the um, receipts for everything. Um Again, prayers to Shorty because she got some trauma. And again, that trauma started far before a Diddy party. You know what I mean? I want to know who Aladdin is. I want to know where he the prince. What you the prince of, gang? And how'd you end up with Tania? <laughs> I just want to know. You was a prince, gang. You could have all the shits, all the women, all you could choose exactly what you want. And you got Tania. I'm just confused. Me, personally. I want to see Aladdin. Somebody do a deep dive because I want to know. I want to know who the prince is and where he the prince at. Straight like that. That's what I want to know. Now, um, prayers to her because, again, she's got trauma. Prayers to her daughter as well. Don't know what's going on with her. Not that I check for it or anything, you know what I'm saying? But I heard her daughter's story and. That was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, man, uh, shame on Diddy. You feel me? You got everybody talking about your ass from celebrities to streetwalkers. That's crazy. Now, <laughs> if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. And thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join up in the Discord. <clears throat> Good people, positive vibes all the time. I can't tell you that enough. Smash that TikTok link. Follow me over there for any content that I post. Um, this is crazy. I don't even know what to say. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this um, story. Again, I do believe her. I think that dress is atrocious. Um, I believe what she's saying, though. You know what I mean? Uh, midgets 
in the in the part, I'm just so confused. I want to know what celebrities were there. I want to know who Aladdin is and Mark. I think Mark liked this 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 woman Tania. I think Mark might hit something. I'm just throwing that out there, straight up. But y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Gangland Neem. Peace.